Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you a um, simple uh, three tall elevator design I came up with. Um, it's just using a piston um, as the top block and um, it's a button input, a wooden button input specifically. Stone button may break it. Um, and yeah, it's pretty simple. It only takes you up three blocks or down three blocks. The Retraction is a bit slower than the extension of going up, however that's not too much of an issue. Um, you can also use a lever input, uh, the lever of course has to be in the same spot as this wooden button. Uh, but as you can see it's one wide, very compact, well it's 1x3x6 I think? 7, it's 1x3x7 technically. Um, if you put this button here, that would shorten it but it's it's seven just it's fine um materials you'll need are in my inventory uh and then there are four options for one of them i'm going to use powered rail however if you don't have that have, have if you don't have powered rails you could use a hopper or if you don't have uh, enough iron for that you could use even a spruce or oak uh sorry you could use any type of trapdoor or any type of fence gate i'm terrible with words um which is odd yeah, this is literally everything you need. And then, of course, the button could be replaced by a simple lever. Um, one thing I do want to note is that I do not use a redstone lamp in place of any of these. Uh, and that's because, uh, basically, this top piston will uh, retract. Um, you can see it from the side. It'll retract, and then it'll just sit there for like an extra two ticks, and you don't really need that. Um, I mean, it already sits there for a while. Anyways, I want to hop into survival, uh, just to show you how easy it is to make. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to dig down three blocks from your floor, and then you're going to place uh, your piston, sticky, sticky, non-sticky, very simple. Place in your repeater, set it to its full um, delay. Put an observer down um, like this, and then a block on top. And just make sure that the triangle is facing up. The triangle may be on this side as well. Um, next thing you're going to want to do is place a block, place down some redstone dust, place a block above that, and then we're going to build up our scaffolding real quick. Um, on top of this block, uh, you're going to want to place your observer, uh, your second one, such that the triangle is facing down um, and the face is on top. Then you're going to go ahead and grab a powered rail. Uh, well, I'm going to use powered rail, but it could also be an oak fence, a trapdoor. Well, it doesn't have to be an oak fence gate, just any fence gate, any trapdoor, including iron, by the way. And Or you could use a hopper. I'm going to use powered rail uh, just because it's the least laggiest and uh, yeah then you're gonna place a block on top of that rail you're gonna place a piece of redstone dust there on top of that block place one more and then you're good to go okay yeah that's it um, I'm gonna go into creative uh, oh yeah you can also break your scaffolding that's that can be destroyed and I'm just gonna go ahead and place down a nice little floor here um, so we can see it working. Uh, one thing is that if the piston is caught here, the system will fix itself. Uh, and that's because basically this piston, when it's here, it's getting bud powered by this, um, this button, or now in this case, the lever. And whenever you, um, send up the double piston extender, um, what you're doing is you're actually updating it uh, whenever it does the one tick pulse and then the piston can no longer be retracted. So that's why it kind of auto fixes itself. Um, if I go ahead and grab another oak button. I think it's a very nice, elegant, simple way to go up or down a floor that isn't a ladder or stairs because ew, no one likes those. Anyways, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching.